And now, a Brian Ross investigation that is prompting congressional action. He brings us the story of female volunteers for the Peace Corps working overseas who say they were raped or sexually assaulted over the past decade. A thousand of them coming forward. And Brian Ross is here now. I am staggered by that number, Brian. A thousand? That's right. That is the number our investigation found. More than 1,000 volunteers raped or sexually assaulted over the last decade, something the Peace Corps has worked hard to keep quiet. At the age of 23, Jess Smochek joined the Peace Corps out of a sense of idealism. I was, you know, going to go and do something wonderful. But within days of arriving as a volunteer in Bangladesh, idealism met reality when she says a group of young local men repeatedly tried to fondle her and the Peace Corps ignored her pleas for relocation. Everyone wanted to be pulled out of there. They wouldn't pull us out. Three months later, she says the same group of young men dragged her down a side alley and repeatedly raped her, but that the Peace Corps told her not to let anyone know why she had to go home. I was told to tell volunteers that I was having my wisdom teeth taken out. Keep this quiet. Yeah. This Current Peace Corps officials maintain such incidents are rare and not covered up. 98% of all volunteers say they feel safe or extremely safe with Peace Corps. But Jess Mochek and a number of other former Peace Corps volunteers who were raped or sexually assaulted told ABC News the agency is in denial often blaming the victims with little counseling to overcome the trauma. You were given three sessions. Given three sessions. And goodbye. And a goodbye. I've dealt with the rape myself, not through the help of Peace Corps. They never um, supported any counseling at all. Even Jess Smochuk said she felt blame for being raped by a group of men because she was out late, 5 p.m. It was my fault. Now, members of Congress say, based on these women's accounts, the Peace Corps has a lot to answer for. Why has this been going on for so many years? Uh, why isn't the Peace Corps taking proactive measures to make sure it doesn't happen? So now as Congress seeks answers to these questions, the victims say the answers will reveal a shameful chapter of a once proud agency, Diane. Incredible stories. Good work, Brian. Thank Good to see you tonight.